One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Flat water wave riding. Welcome back to the Ride Along channel, where you can see right now the magic polar drone is hanging off the back of my harness. I'm going to be looking forward as I sail. And I've also got you hanging off the clue right behind me there. This is live and on board in a fairly overclass today, Vasiliki in Lefkada, Greece. And what I'm aiming to show you today is some flat water wave riding techniques that will actually really, really help your jibes as well. So for the average windsurfer blasting in the straps, this will get you ready to start hitting those top and bottom turns in the braking waves, as well as just a nice general game you can play to improve your jiving skills. Here we go, up and onto the plane. So for this skill, I recommend some sort of manoeuvrable sail. Six, six, five at the absolute most, really. Although it is possible bigger, it's much easier when you're on a smaller sail like you would be wave riding on. And some sort of playful board would be useful as well, whether it's a, a pure wave board or like I'm on just now, this is a starboard code 103. Set up with thruster, thruster fins underneath, and inboard and forward foot straps. The sail, by the way, is a five meter spy from 0.7, so it kind of matches the board perfectly. Freestyle wave, all roundy sort of kit that can do high wind, bump and jump, playful and maneuverable stuff. And what we're trying to do is in both foot straps, bear away in a neutral position on top of the board. Almost like we're going into a two footed carve jibe. So you're carve jibing with both feet in the straps. That's why it helps to have your foot straps inboard, and not only inboard, but quite big as well. Inboard and quite big will allow you to be almost on the center line of the board, right in the middle of the board. So we're bearing away like a two-footed carve jive. We're then gonna open the sail, depower a lot, and carve on our heels back up wind once again. Here we go, in a gust. Neutral position. There's the first bit, open the sail, drop onto the heels. Hopefully with a bit of a push, stay on the plane. The better you get at this, the more fun it becomes. And the more you can start laying that sail down, like you'd see on a bottom turn on a wave rider. So, got some space behind me. Bearing away two feet, lay the sail down, open the sail up, hopefully pushing back on the plane. A couple of techniques to help you with this, just like you'd see on the big waves. On the entrance, on the lay down, down the wave, backhand goes back, just like any drive or any downwind maneuver. When it comes to the upwind bit, digging your heels and heading upwind, just like any sort of upwind quick maneuver, your hands come together and much further forwards. Thank you. 
should at this point also mention you're doing this out the harness by the way I'm sure you've spotted that from what I'm doing but okay space wide hands bear away there's a little carve back up again Such a fun feeling to go for. Space, I'm on top of the board. Look, if you want it to ditch the power, you can completely let go of your backhand. Occasionally you'll see that when you're wave riders. Completely ditching that power, one-handed. Same entrance, of course, could lead you into a downwind 360, could lead you into a nice lay down jibe, or if I get a gust in a second or two, you could just have a bit of fun with it and ride all the way around a jibe, two feet still in the straps, and just catch it on the other side. Like your classic strap to strap jibe, except you're staying in the straps. You could either ride a switch stance like I am just now this is a great way of learning how to get switch stance and get comfortable or of course step up straps and sail in the other direction So key points to start with, let's recap. This is aimed to be done on flattish water. You don't need breaking waves, but a nice bit of rolling chop and swell like I'm in now. This is about knee high chop. You want kit that's light enough and playful enough to be maneuverable. Sure, you could just about do it on your free ride, free racing kit. It just won't feel quite as nice. Something with a swept back fin designed for turning, such as the starboard code that I'm on just now, or something similar. A sail, something maneuverable. And that's different for everyone. For some of you listening, a five meter might be enormous. For some of you, a five meter might be the dream conditions that you rarely get because you're used to being on the bigger kit. But something maneuverable. And as long as it matches the board, of course. So these two sails, the 0.7 spy, five meter goes perfectly with a freestyle wave. Foot straps are inboard and large will definitely make it easier. Here's the gust, this is my time. I'm doing this in both straps. Bear away and lay it down, back up, open it up. The more wind and the more playful you get with this, the more you can go almost to a run, almost straight down wind before you then carve those heels, release the power. Remember, almost any downwind manoeuvre, your backhand has to go back to control the power, control the sail. The up, upwind bit, those hands close together once again, snap up towards the harness lines, allowing you to open the sail, drop onto your heels, in particular, your back heel to turn the board upwind once again. That's it for now. Don't forget to leave me a comment, whack subscribe, tell me how you're getting on. And most importantly, have fun with this one. You may not get 100% success all the time, but it's something a bit different. And if you're looking at improving your jibes and your skills in general, just whacking in the same jibe time and time again is not going to do much for your improvement. Or was it Einstein that said the definition of insanity 
is doing the same thing again and again and expecting different results. I might well be wrong on who said that, but whoever it was, they were right. Mix up the skills, mix up the techniques you're practicing, and then go back to whatever it was before, maybe your, your regular jibe, step jibe, strap to strap, duck, whatever it was. And this little skill, this little game, will really help you out. Thanks as always, I'll see you next time.